Welcome to HealthWise After 55, an informational and exercise program addressing the health and lifestyle issues of older adults. Sponsored by Senior Services of Stormontville Healthcare. Welcome to HealthWise After 55. We have a very important topic today to talk about, and that is hearing. I think all of us as we get older have a little bit of hearing loss and we wonder when it's when it is just the right time to maybe get that checked out so today we're going to hear about that and we're going to hear about it from Mary Wade you are a doctor of audiology right correct and you work for the you are employed at the Topeka ear nose and throat right on the corner of 10th and uh, uh, 10th and, and southwest and, lane and southwest lane okay pass you just about every morning as I go to work. Okay, and you are a, a sponsor of our program, so we're glad to have you. Well, it's a privilege to be here, and we thank you for having us today. Oh, yes. And we're going to learn from you, Mary, exactly what happens as we age with our, with our hearing. Give us some tips and some pointers and some things as we go along as we're talking in the next few minutes. So, again, welcome. So, how do we learn if we have a hearing problem? You know, I know my kids are sometimes say, or I say, I can't hear you very well. Mm -hmm. Well, part of being here tonight means that I get to talk about two of my favorite subjects, yeah, right. which is hearing loss and myself. Right, okay. Because <laughs> I, I belong in this age, age group, and I have a little bit of a hearing loss, uh -huh. and so I'll talk about the things that I have noticed, okay? which are very common, and these are the things that sure. people, people will tell us. Um, I have to have the TV up a little louder. Right. Don't understand on my cell phone very well. The grandkids are hard to understand at times. Uh, no, I refuse to say that people mumble because yeah, that, that, is, that, that, that okay. is a common thing that people <laughs> say, but I say, no, people yeah. don't mumble, yeah. you don't hear. Um, I don't particularly have trouble in background noise, but a lot of folks do. Yeah. Um, so those are some of the things we often hear people say. Now, 95% of the time I'm fine, right. but the other times I will notice those things. And then there's the look when I miss something and one of my grandkids goes, oops, mm. <laughs> or one of my children give me that look, which tells me they're thinking, is she losing it? Right, or you ask, will you repeat that? You yes, know. yes, oh. yes, and, and so it gets, it, it gets, mistaken from right. is mom still tracking right is right. she with us and uh, so it's been kind of fun to have a little bit of a hearing loss and see see how that all see begins. how that puts together yeah so you know when you do that do you think oh my goodness I need what's your first step if you feel like you're having a little bit of hearing loss well what let's, do we let's tell talk the about audience? Let's, yeah. let's let's talk about what I do okay uh, evaluation is the first right. step okay and what does an evaluation mean it doesn't mean that I say, oh, I can't hear, I'm going to buy a hearing aid. No, right. that approach is looking at it like the person who doesn't know what they have is choosing the treatment. The first thing is to do a thorough evaluation. We are part of a, what we consider to be a medical model where mm -hmm. audiologists right. and ear, nose, throat physicians work hand in hand. When people with hearing loss come to us, we know they're gonna end up in, going to end up in one of two categories. They will have either have a hearing loss that's medically treatable, mm -hmm. or they'll have a hearing loss that'll end up, and in that case, they end up with the ENT physicians. And that may be a disease or it a may be disease surgery process. or whatever. There's many whatever. Whatever. different causes right. of hearing loss. Right. And so we, we have to figure out what those causes are before First. we choose a treatment. Right. Um, and so basically, people will go one of two places initially. Over time, right. they, it may be a blended right. situation. Um, and so the first thing is to figure out what is wrong with right. their ears. Now, people often think of their ears as one thing. I try to explain it this way. Look at my arm. This is, we call this an arm, but it's actually, we all know, made up of many different parts. The ear is the same thing. It is not one organ. It goes from the ear canal all the way up to the brain, and everything along that pathway is susceptible to damage, disease, mm -hmm. and so it's our job to figure out what the problem is. After the problem is well defined, then the treatment plan is figured out and move on to the treatment stage. And so that may be you that they are referring to? It may be. If, if, it's, if it's us, it'll be 
uh, perhaps hearing aids. It's uh -huh. maybe counseling and communication okay. strategies. It's counseling and different assistive listening devices. Uh, helping families, you know, figuring out how to cope Lots with the hearing loss. Things, yeah. um, and that really moves on into the management stage. So it, it really flows from evaluation to figuring out the right treatment, the treatment for the person into management, which over time then that goes back to assessment because things don't stay the same. So it's a constant circle is what you're saying. You always like kind of need of it to that kind way. of check in. And I think, yeah. it's, I think it's reassuring to people right. to know that they it's not simply buying a device and then you're right, done. Right. It's knowing that if there's problems with that, if they develop new problems with their ears, they go back and, and find out. Again and again. And again. Just like you go to your dentist or anything else. That's a good way to it's say it. It's something you keep. So when you decide and find out that hearing devices may be helpful, there's just not one that fits all, right? Is that right, Mary? That's correct. Okay. Uh, there's six major manufacturers of okay. hearing aids in the world. A lot more brand names, right. but if you know what's inside of them, They're it's awesome. kind of like the car industry. There's, there's six different... Lots of different yeah. things that are the same. Yeah. And um, so it's very confusing to the consumer, and some of that's because of intentional right. marketing to confuse the consumer. Right. Um, <laughs> as we, we enjoy being independent providers, which means we have ac access to all of the six major mm -hmm. manufacturers. So it means instead of just having one technology, we've got lots of things to choose from. And uh, it's a very comfortable place as a provider to be because we can always, we're always out there scouting around looking for new things and trying to find what Checking works best with, with each individual. Right. So one doesn't fit all. Correct. There's lots of, and insurance probably doesn't pay for these hearing aids, do they, lots of times? So, sometimes, sometimes that, that's, a okay. that's a conversation. That's a conversation that needs invest yeah. needs investigated because right. uh, there is no set answer. Set Some answer people have that. insurance that pay, helps right. pay. Right, right. So that so. is fantastic. Well, hearing is so important, isn't? It? You just feel cut off if you don't hear correctly. It is a. It is a. I, I think of it as a quality of life issue. Very much. Because it cuts us off from other people. Right. Humans are very. We're different than other animals because we communicate mm -hmm. with each other. Right. Um, there have been studies in recent years talking about uh, senility related to hearing loss. Mm. Well, we can jump on that and say A leads to B. No, it doesn't say that. But what it means to me is that if there's a hearing loss, we pull back, mm -hmm. right. isolate becomes some of those things that are important to us, like associating with other human beings, becomes less important. And, and behaviors change, and it sets up a, a cycle that is unhealthy in a lot of ways. We just might be a little embarrassed because we don't hear quite correctly, right? And that would, That's correct. That would take us away from that. And some people, some people react to it very differently. Right. There's no set answer to that. Thanks okay. for being with us, Mary. We sure okay. appreciate all your information. Okay. And thanks for being with us on HealthWise After 55.